if you look at the right hand side of the screen we are told to reproduce the figure that's displayed there now the first thing you do if you look at the dimension of one side it's given to be 80 but in front of the 80 we have a square so that symbol you are seeing there is telling us that the entire length and height of this given figure is 80 so it is a perfect square so the first thing you are going to do is to take your um, set square or your rule and you draw a line this way you can see that now on that line you pick a point right let's say this point here and from that point you're going to mark 80 right so if I mark 80 this way from here to this point you can see that so from 0 to 8 is 80 and half of 80 is what 40 you can see that now the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to take my set square and I'll move it to this point here right and I'm going to draw a vertical line you can see and also I'm going to come here too with my instrument I'll come to this point also I'll draw this this way you can see that with the help of my compass I'm going to gauge instead of measuring from here again I'll just take my compass and place it at this end here and I'll move it to this point here then I'm going to mark right the same thing too is applied to this point too I'm going to mark so with the help of my instrument I discovered that the entire um, sides of this shape is thickened so I'm going to use my ticking line to show so from here I'm going to thicken it you can see that I'll move up also I'm going to thicken it also Then I can easily take my rule and taking this two from this point straight down here. I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing too here. Right? You can see that? I have um, successfully brought out the ship. Now the next thing I will do is to draw the center line. Now earlier I measured half of this, which is the half of 80. Because it's the center, I'm going to use center line. Center line is used for symmetrical objects, right? So if I make use of my set square, once I place it on my T-square, it becomes perpendicular. Now, on that point, I'm going to draw my center line there. Use a long one. Then a short one. Long one. Just like that. You can see that? Now, the same thing. I'm going to transfer this point from here to this point which is 40 and I'll transfer it to also is 40 because from here to here is 40 also from here to here is also what 40 so I also use my center line with the help of my T square horizontally just like that you can see that I'm going to also use the diagonal and I'm going to join if you look at 
the edge here if i should divide here into two what's at the top right will be the same thing as what at the what bottom so i'm going to use my center line here also passing through the center so we're having this I say that what is here is same thing as what is down here. The same thing too. I'll do another diagonal again, passing through the center. You can see that. So I have successfully done that. Now the next thing, if you look at from here to here to here and here they are all joined together with hidden lines right so i'm going to use my hidden line with a short, short dash we know the hidden lines are used to show hidden features so from here i'll do the same thing just dash like that i'll come again here I'll do the same thing And also here, I'll do the same thing. Same thing here too, I'll do the same thing. You can see that? Now the next, if you look at this where they intersect, where the center line and this hidden line intersect, forms the center of each of these four circles you see. So this is one center, two, three, and four. And I'm going to take my compass and I'll place it each center here and with reference to the sides of the square, right? Should be transition to it. Then I'm going to draw my shape right i'm going to join my shape you're going to gauge it until you get what you want so you just place it here take it to the top and uh, you move See that? What we have here. I'll come here also with the same radius. Place at the center here, taking the my radius to be the size of any of the sides of the triangle. So I'll move it this way. Ensure that it is well placed. I see that come to this point to do the same thing ensuring that it is well placed I see that I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing, this way, this is how you get it, then you start drawing them. Now this is what we have, now if you look closely, each of this center is joined with a thick line, this center to this center. As you can see in the figure, it joins with a thick line. The center with the center. As you can see, it joins with a thick line. The center to the center. It joins with a thick line. Then the center to the center. It also joins with a thick line. 
you see that now the next one is if you look there's a circle in between the four circles as you can see in this figure just in this place there's what a circle so what i'll just do is i'll take my compass place at the center here and take one of the circumference of the circle right so then i'll now draw My circle. So this is what we have, right? We successfully reproduced it. Then the next thing we have to do is to draw the dimension. So we know that um, the dimension 80 is from this point here straight down to this point here. Then I'm going to connect it with my set square this way. To ensure it is not touching the figure, so this will be other places this way. This is a square, then 80. So we have successfully reproduced the figure. If you have um, found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.